They were like the ambulance that would show up and they would rescue the turtles. And I've always been amazed at IMMS because when they show up, I don't know that any of them, I would say, were just doing their job because they had so much compassion. Every time they arrived on scene to take care of a, a dolphin or a sea turtle, I was so thankful because they cared for that dolphin or that sea turtle like they were, that, like it was their own. And when they had the opportunity, they would rush that thing back and they would immediately start rescue and rehabilitation. And today we get the opportunity to see one of those beautiful stories when General Joe gets released and gets to swim off again. And so we're thankful for the partnership that we have with IMMS. Thank you for all of y'all coming so far to see something so amazing. And uh, we look forward to what's about to happen. Mississippi State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. Um, their veterinarians uh, helped, are, are in charge of the medical care for these animals. Um, so they are the ones that do the hook removals, uh, which is what happened with Joe. Joe was hooked on a pier here in Past Christian. Um, there is also a group of students from Mississippi State that are down here for their pathology rotation. Um, and they come down once a month uh, with different students to learn different things at IMMS um, and work with their professors, um, Dr. Moore and Dr. McNulty, who are over there hiding in the crowd. <laughs> but we do want to acknowledge, uh, acknowledge all the hard work, uh, the effort between both of our organizations to get these animals back out into the wild. Um, so Joe is a loggerhead sea turtle. If you've been to our sea turtle releases before, you've probably seen a different species. Uh, so we don't get loggerheads as commonly as those Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. Um, and so Joe is actually not an adult size. So though Joe is a little bit of a larger turtle, probably going to get about double that size before it's an adult. Um, so we are going to release Joe. I'm going to move out of the way um, and staff is going to bring Joe down to the water line. Um, and Joe is going to need a lot of encouragement from everybody to swim off. And while they're bringing Joe down here, I did want to also mention um, our Halloween event, Boo Fest, is happening on April 26th, or sorry, October 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. and you can check out that information on our website. Keep going. She said to her Our Boo Fest is October 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. We have lots of different spooky events uh, for children and adults. Um, we are very excited uh, for this event we host every year. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning in. I apologize, there was a little break. Um, I had a phone that overheated when we were uh, doing our Facebook Live here. Um, but we are so excited to have Joe um, back out in the wild. If you check out our website, imms.org, we will be updating Joe's tracks as he moves through the Mississippi Sound and beyond. Um, and we hope you have a great day. Thank